Chapter 7 The Last Letter Six months later, in April 1890, I found him dead in bed. He was on his back in bed, so at first I thought he was asleep. I talked to him, but he did not move. Then I saw the skin on his face was blue, so I knew he was dead. He did not usually sleep on his back. His enormous head was very heavy, so he usually sat up in his bed with his arms around his legs and his head on his knees. He could sleep well like this. But he wanted to sleep on his back like you and me. He tried to sleep on his back that night, but his heavy head came off the bed and he broke his neck. He died very quickly. Next day, the chairman of the London Hospital, Mr. Carr Gohm, wrote to the editor of the Times again. The Times, April 16th, 1890 Dear Sir, Three and a half years ago, I wrote to you about a man called Joseph Murick. This man was called the Elephant Man because he was born with a very ugly body. Murick was not ill, but he could not work, and he had no money. The readers of the Times felt sorry for him, and they gave me a lot of money for Murick. Because of this money, we could give Murick a home in a London hospital. It was his first good home, and for three and a half years, he lived here happily. The doctors and nurses of the hospital helped him, and many important people visited him. He read many books, he went to the theater, and in the summer he stayed in the country for six weeks. Because of your reader's money, we could give him a happy life. Last night, Joseph Murray died quietly in his bed. He was a man with a very ugly body, but he was a good kind man, and he had a lot of friends. We like to talk to him, and we are all very sorry because he is dead. A lot of people are going to remember him for a long time. There is some money left, so I'm going to give it to the hospital. Thank you, sir, for your help. Yours faithfully, F.C. Cargo, Chairman of the London Hospital.